I don't think it's a good idea to go out today. Good thing I don't have to go out to make walkthrough parts. Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Obviously it is rainy day edition of sorts. Uh, you might not be able to hear it in the background now because of the water spouts and whatnot. I hope you can't hear the rain in the background. I don't really have uh, any time to make a part for tomorrow, which is the day that I'm going to be uploading this. So I'm, I'm recording this one day ahead of time. So yeah, you might might be able to hear the rain, but oh shoot, that was bad. <laughs> and can I go on any of these pipes? I think I can, yeah, I think I can, I think I can. But yeah, um... I'm only recording this in the rain because I won't have any time to do so due to stuff and stuff. Otherwise I'd record at a less noisy time, but I think it should be fine overall. But in actuality, this is kind of like in the spirit of gaming, so to speak. Like, gaming in the rain, it, because, you know, you're, you're not going to go out to do stuff. And I think there's a coin underwater somewhere. Oh! Oh, no, there's something, there's one up there. Hmm, well, I need, to, I need to go through this level again. Anyway, because there's a secret exit. But anyway, as I was saying, it, it's kind of like in the spirit of gaming, because it's like, you can game... Wow, that's a big boo ring. You can game wherever, whenever, uh, even when the power is out, if you have, have like a hand, handheld console or something like that. It is one of the best activities ever, <laughs> in my opinion. I mean, it, it's just something to go to when you don't, uh, uh, when you can't do anything else per se, in a way, I guess you could say. And... There we go. I mean, rain like that would cancel stuff like sporting events and whatnot as well, so... Yeah, an, an indoor game like this, it's something very awesome to ha have offhand. And, ooh, just barely made that jump. Alright, now I thought there is a coin in the water, and I probably was right about that. I, oh, 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 there it is. <laughs> it's not the fish, it's the coin in the water. So I'm going to grab that coin and attempt to find the secret exit. I don't really remember this level all that much offhand, so I might be... I thought I was pressing up there. <laughs> So I might be floundering around the level looking for stuff. I don't think the secret exit was backwards at the start. I just... Mm, it, it just doesn't... Rec I don't recall something like that. Okay, I'm gonna plop in the water here. Oh, that was close. Really close. Got the coin. Get out of my way. Oh! Okay, now I should probably stay out of the water because they're, they're swarming around me. This is, look at all of them. They're all hungry. Arr, booze! Out of my way, there we go. Just needed to wait for the right opportunity. Okay, I think... Think is the key word here. Wow, there's a lot of fish. There is a... Yes, 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 right here. Go in, go in, yes! <laughs> I thought I was gonna be trapped and eaten by fish. Well, this is awfully suspicious. Ah, there we go. I was gonna say... That, that seemed like an impossible jump without a, a coin block or something like that far away from it. In order for you to take a running jump at it. Yay! Alrighty. And now, secret exits, go! As per tradition in this game, a long winding path opens up to a level. Well, I guess it wasn't as long as the other secret exits I found thus far, and since this is off the beaten path, I shall do this now. And this is... Sparkling Waters Dash Bean Beanstalk Jungle. Oh yeah. This is, this is a really weird level if you think about it. This, like, you recall this sort of level in the first new Super Mario Bros. U, but just think about this. This is an auto-scroll stage on a game that is primarily focused on speed. Doesn't that seem a little off? off? Oh jeez! Oh, I need... I could use this! Yes! Okay. 
I mean, it's a good level, but what I mean is that it feels really, really out of place in comparison to the other levels. Can I eat you? I very much appreciate... Uh, I guess not. At least not from that distance. You're you're pretty far out of the way anyway. I, I can leave you. I can let you live. And also beware of the petals browning up and uh, falling off. That's a factor! Glad I had Yoshi. Uh, there's a coin there. Do I want... Oh, need to eat num nums. Yes. And yes. Okay. See how short the stage was even with the auto scroll and whatnot? And I think you know... Yeah, that's pretty obvious. Wait a second. Do I want... Oh, I can't. Wait, was there like another entrance to get in here? Probably. Hmm. Must have missed something. Well, you can just Yoshi hop by pressing ZR like that to get up there if you have Yoshi at the end. So, I made it anyway. Wait, what do you... How do I trigger that? <laughs> or, or wasn't I paying attention they already fell off or something? I don't know, I guess I don't really need it because I can just do that. You can't really keep Yoshi between levels anyway, so... Bye-bye, Yoshi! Woo! You can keep the baby Yoshis, but you can't keep the Yoshi Yoshis, you know, the regular grown-up Yoshis. Probably because they kind of break the levels with their hover jumps and uh, tongue at times, because, you know, they can lap up enemies by pressing the Y button. But uh, that's a... Uh, then again, Bubble Blast... not Bubble Blaster, um, Floaty Yoshi can break the levels pretty good as well, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe there's a, a slight balance, I mean, slight imbalance in uh, Yoshi's here. Maybe it's Yoshi age discrimination or something like that. <laughs> anyway, let's go over to the next level. Sure. Mm, there's so many cheap cheaps to go through. Maybe I won't do them right now. It just seems a little cumbersome. So let's just go to Sparkling Waters Dash 3, the Water Spout Sprint. And just as you might think, it's water spouts, and it's just a big line of water spouts throughout the entire level. Uh, it's based off of speed, but, you know, what level isn't based off of speed? I'm gonna take that hit. <laughs> just because I want the coin. Might be able to get a power up here. But, uh, yeah, oh boy. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. It's actually pretty... Oops. I was gonna say, it's actually a pretty safe level overall. Uh, because even if you fall down in one of the holes, another spout just picks you right up. Um, I guess I'll use that. I just want to have a power-up at the start to take a hit in case I need to. Uh, because of the piranha that is guarding that coin. Oh, I was hoping there was going to be a fire flower in that. Whoa! Well, that was a waste of a power-up. <laughs> Yeah, I was really expecting a fireball to be in that thing. Arr! I will try this until I get every single star coin. Mm -hmm. I definitely need that for the piranha. I'm not going to get past that without... Wait, wait, actually, maybe I can. Is there a Koopa around here? Hmm. Maybe not. Is there... Oh, there's a Koopa up ahead. I could have used you. And Oops. Well, I threw it the wrong way. But yeah, yeah I could have killed the piranha plant via that... Um, via the shell. Whoa! 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 That was close. Penguin suits. That's really out of place. <laughs> Just, why is this here of all things? Uh, I know. Any prizes? No. Maybe I, I suppose it's, I could freeze some stuff. Like, whoop, And, oh. I want to throw it. Oh. <laughs> I want to throw it at the uh, coin or let it fall into the coin, but it failed. Didn't work. Oh, well. Oh, ooh, ooh. um, well, it's a hit. <laughs> I will tank the hits to get star coins. I'm not afraid to do so. If only I had Yoshi, I could have bounced on their heads. <laughs> well, I could have grabbed the uh, uh, floating uh, baby Yoshi, you know, the red one down there. I suppose that was an option as well if I wanted to cross the thresholds of water spouts. Come on, cheap cheeps, out of the way. Gotta cross... Oh, no, no, no! Oh! Well, it looks like I'm doing a cheap cheap this part. Unless I fail horrendously. Aha! They go off screen. Thanks, guys. You are truly helpful. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> and it's a propeller mushroom. They only give you 50 seconds for those stages. You gotta be really quick on them. Yay! I have successfully 
defeated a cheap cheap out of six. I really don't know if I'm gonna do all of them. That's a lot of cheap cheaps, and you just gotta kill the cheap cheaps. Anyway, great geysers in Sparkling Waters 4. Uh, another penguin suit, really. <laughs> so weird. And I took a hit. There goes the penguin suit. Oh, I bet, I bet the whole timing of stuff got, <laughs> got messed up because I uh, stalled at the beginning there. I need that, I need that, aha! I need that desperately. I could also, oh, peace switch. Oh, just for blue coins. Woo! Oh yeah. Jumping upstream with the fish. Oh yeah. Um, there we go. Gotta watch for power ups. Oh jeez. Well, that's what, I got the second coin. What am I gonna do about you? Oh, there we go. Oh jeez. Okay, lower your defenses. Oh, that works. <laughs> oh! Fish swim on top. What the heck? <laughs> I can't take a hit right now. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to replay that level then. That's fine. What do they want me to do over- Oh! Freeze them. Penguin suit, right. But I'd have to keep my power up all the way to the end. That's a, that's pretty demanding, actually. Oh, you know where the last coin is. Alright, let's see the performance here. Will I be able to keep a hit until the very end? No. <laughs> well, well, I was going to say, maybe there will be another power, power up later on in the level. But I didn't even get a chance at that. <laughs> That's fine. I got 87 lives to burn. I've got all the time in the world. Well, however much camera time I have here. <laughs> and I think I got like six hours. I just cleaned out the memory card. So I think I'm good to go in that regard. <laughs> okay, keep the hits. Don't watch the cheap cheeps. Well, I guess you probably should watch the cheap cheeps PK Gam. Stay away. Stay away from the cheapers. Oh! Oh, yeah! Glad Luigi's jump is so much higher than Mario's. I would not be able to clear those otherwise. Okay, lower them. Lower them. Good boys! Oh, jeez. Nope. And here's where I take the hit. Aha! And I swim under them to victory. Uh oh. Victory has not come yet. I still have a barrage of fish. Too many fish. Okay, I'm just gonna go under. <laughs> Fish, so tricky. Woo! Oh, I don't believe there's a stage uh, with that uh, urchin way in the center of the map there. Maybe I should have grabbed the, the floaty Yoshi over here when I went to uh, cross the threshold. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Yeah, I can't press left over here to cross that over there. Oh, and I just noticed that that other school of cheap sheeps disappear when I defeated just one of them. So maybe I'll just take on these. Because why not? Because I, I thought I would have to clear more cheap cheap, so I didn't notice for my other playthroughs that it actually clears out the whole school. Oh, no! Come on, back up, quickly! There we go. Woo! And another propeller mushroom. Should probably start using them up, actually. Because I'm, I'm gonna, definitely gonna get more power ups later on. Um. Uh, Okay, one more stage this part, and I'll use the propeller mushroom. Everything is- oh, why'd I do that? <laughs> I was gonna say, everything is cleared out, so I can now take this path. Dragon Eel Deaths. You probably remember Dragon Eels. They are the ones that rotate- well, not rotate, they go around you, per se. Such beautiful singing. <laughs> you'll, you'll recognize them when you see them. They are- I love singing Baby Yoshi. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. These are dragon eels, and they're much faster than their brethren in, uh... <laughs> and they even dance to the music as well. They, they're they much faster than their brethren in New Super Mario Brothers. Uh, you... Can I... Can you eat this? No, you can't. That's a problem. Can I throw you at stuff? Well, I can do that. Oh wait, where... Oh, you're behind it. <laughs> Uh, it's really easy to swim when holding an object like this. You just use the D-pad to swim when you're doing that. It's very, very simple 
and it whoop, gives you a lot more versatility and control than you would normally. So uh, even if a floaty Yoshi isn't all that useful in the context of being able to float because you know you're underwater and stuff like that, um, it, it's still a matter of that you have more control than you did before, so it's a pretty good idea to bring a baby Yoshi in there. And did I miss something because I took too long because of that dragon eel? I don't know. Uh, wait a second. Kill this. Kill this. Come on. Kill it. I, I will take a hit if I have to. I just want you to kill that. <laughs> well, fine. I'll take the hit. <laughs> because... You need to go through here in order to get this star coin. Yeah, uh, normally you'd have to use the dragon eel to kill it, but I did a very bad job leading it into the giant urchin. Well, that's fine, I just tanked the hit. Got to the end, exact same outcome, except without one more hit. <laughs> but that's fine by me. And with that, I think I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Make that, but.